How about a cheap, 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 cheap. This is the owner of McKamey Manor. He has been running an institution in the haunted house community. Wait, sorry, I read that wrong. He should be sent to an institution, spoilers, for what he's been doing in his haunted house. So like I said, McKamey Manor is a haunted house. And the reason that I just said haunted house is because in reality, this is just a guy's garage. But let's not skip ahead. Let's start from the beginning. So for anyone that's unaware, let me just read you this quote from a New York Post article. A Tennessee haunted house dubbed a a chamber under disguise is still operating, despite the owner being probed for traumatizing visitors and calls for the sadistic experience to be permanently axed. McKamey Manor, the controversial house of horrors in Summertown, about 70 miles southwest of Nashville, has for years been dogged by complaints of violence and inhumane treatment against participants, who at one point were forced to sign a 40-page waiver just to enter. Some participants said they were waterboarded, tased, whipped, taunted with spiders, and trapped in boxes during the their no escape nightmare. Yes, yeah, so if you can't tell, it's a very average run of the mill haunted house experience fit for all of the family and tickets are going cheap, $5. Buy them now in the description. So after that clip we just watched at the beginning of the video, this is what happens next on your haunted house adventure. As you can see, our contestant here, Amy, has a uh, tape wrapped around her head so she can't see because clearly they were out of blindfolds and she's being dragged into the back of a van by a man in a mask. Oh, oh there we go. Now the doors are closed. Yeah. Now it's under oh, oh, She's all smiling. This is gonna be the He's literally just slapping her in the face. I mean, I know you had to sign a 40 page waiver and it makes a lot more sense now, but so far this haunted house experience is we marched you around crawling on the floor in our garden and now you're in the back of our van and we're gonna slap you on the head. And now if you are wondering why that New York Post article called it a torture chain but in disguise. Well, the next thing that he gets them to do is to again start cheaping whilst he pours fake blood on their face. And I won't lie to you, this could be a hostage video. <laughs> I'm half expecting him to come on screen and say if you don't send me $30,000 by Tuesday then they won't be coming home. So after he drives them around in his van a little bit of text comes up at the bottom and it says check in dot 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 the fun begins and then the very next scene in the video is them lined up in the back of his garage in the dark with a flashlight in their face and again I have to say it looks like he's about to ask me for money. So Russ, the owner, then lets the brothers loose and uh, they're so dangerous in fact that he can't actually show us what happens on camera. And for those of you who might already know something about this story, the fact that we can't see that footage is actually very key to the final part. So make sure you stay tuned to find out why. But let's catch up with Amy the next time we see her. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's tweet, not what tweet, 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 tweet sounds like. Oh, oh, you're supposed tweet, to be entertaining tweet, Vegas. They aren't liking you. Yeah. So she's currently in a freezer. I'm not gonna lie to you, when I think of haunted houses, I think about running around in a room with somebody trying to jump scare me every so often. I don't necessarily think about being tied up and chucked in a freezer with miscellaneous fluids dumped on my face. No, I actually save that for Saturday nights. Amy ends up quitting because she has a panic attack. And then Russ makes her film a very odd feeling apology to the camera where she has to call him sir. It's not physically fit for if I knew I needed to be physically fit. Well, of course you need to be physically fit, my God. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. And it's at that point that I realized Russ is definitely getting something out of this. Now this next video is about a contestant named Jeremy and this one's special. You know why? Because it's five hours long. Sorry no, let me correct myself. It's six hours. It's five hours and 59 minutes and it follows a very similar pattern. He has duct tape over his eyes and he's dragged into a van. Anything you want to say but it's gotta be Christmas. I would think it more Krampus. I don't I don't think my brothers are into Santa. And once again he is tied up and dumped in a freezer this time full of water because you know what last time it just wasn't good enough I don't think I can even show that clip on YouTube. You might have just seen a black screen because I don't think I can actually just show what I've seen. And finally, I just want to show you a clip of another contestant that had gone through the experience. And this is them as they're tapping out, talking about how they feel. Where are you? What's the name of the hunt? 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 Um, McKamey Manor? You got it. Give a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Y
game. All right, all right. You guys get close together. Get close together. Get close together. Get close together. Give him a hug. Give him a hug, man. Give him a hug. Give him a hug, man. Give him a hug. What happened? I lost what happened? all sense of reality. What happened? Bro? Oh, you're good. Reality right now, dude. Yeah, so he claims that he lost all sense of reality. That's not really something that I would expect from a normal haunted house experience. And it doesn't stop there, because one month ago, an anonymous person who claims to have gone through this haunted house tour didn't ask me anything on Reddit. So let's look at what they had to say as well. I went through McKamey Manor in 2019 and made it for five hours. For my tour of the property, I was subjected to many of the same things that others had reportedly gone through. However, I quit when Russ and his crew let me know I used too much profanity. Yeah, so a big thing about Russ is that he's allowed to borderline to you, but you are not allowed to swear because you signed that 40 page waiver. So he can do what he likes to you, but if you start swearing, that's no bueno for him. So this person asks, what was the worst? Was it actually adjacent as I would describe it. He tried waterboarding, but it wasn't done the right way. That sounds terrible to word it like that. It was tough, especially because he or one of his associates was blindfolded, so not sure which one was doing it, had their hand on the back of my neck holding me down. Once I was out of air and exhaled slash gagged, they let me up. And this next question is something that I've been thinking of the whole entire time I've been researching this topic. What made you want to go through this? I had a friend that signed up to go through it and he asked me to also sign up. He didn't get selected, but I did because Russ reached out to me and asked if I could be at his property that weekend. I could and my friend couldn't. Something that comes up a lot if you look into this topic is the fact that Russ selects people based on who is available the next day. I'm sure you can imagine from the clips that we've seen people have been trying to shut this down for years and I think that's something that needs to happen it's so obvious to me that this should not be running I don't know how it has been allowed to run for this long this quote from the Guardian says debates cropped up as whether McKamey was running a red room live streaming videos of people being a to sell on the dark web. An online petition titled Shut Down McKamey Manor received 192,744 signatures. Since then, there have been eight petitions to do just that. So what those debates on Reddit are claiming is they think that he does all these things to people and he doesn't show it on YouTube, but what he actually does is he live streams it from hidden cameras, wherever he is doing his activities, whether he live streams it onto the dark web and people will pay to see people get which if true, that is insane. However, of course, we don't know if that's true. This is just a debate that people have had online. I personally think he's doing it because he himself is just messed up in the head. But like I mentioned, the campaign to shut this place down has been a global phenomenon. And at this point, I want to introduce you to someone called Reckless Ben. Now, Reckless Ben actually started out as a slacklining YouTuber. As you can see, he's got videos slacklining in a forest. He's got videos showing his slackline progression. He's got videos showing his slackline tricks over 500 mouse traps. But then after years of slacklining, he seemingly got bored of it because he made a very sudden switch to a series called Infiltrating Scientology. And the reason I'm even mentioning that is just to give you some context as to who he is because this year he's been posting a series called Infiltrating McKamey Manor. Now I could not possibly even breach the surface of the level of detail and research that he goes into. At one point he himself signs up to the tour and he goes through and shows what his experience was like. At the culmination of his journey he finds some raw footage from an ex-employee that shows the truth behind what really went on inside Russ's garage. And now I don't want to tell you much more than that because this is a really good series and I don't want to spoil it for you. So if you have had any interest throughout this video, please go over to Reckless Ben and watch this. I think it's like eight parts now. It's, it's very good. But what we're going to do is we're going to skip over this time period of those eight videos and we're going to come to the current day because completely unrelated to the manor itself, but completely telling of this man's character this is what happened to the owner this year in June. Owner of McKamey Manor charged with attempted and the owner of a Middle Tennessee haunted attraction known for its intense scare tactics has been charged with attempted second degree and domestic Court records from the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office show Russ Allen McKamey was arrested at his Summertown house on Friday, July 19th after allegedly assaulting his girlfriend. He was booked into jail on a $1,000 bond and ordered to have no contact with the victim. However, more charges have since been filed against the McKamey Manor owner accusing him of trying to kill his girlfriend on more than one occasion. The first incident was reported on Wednesday, July 17th, a day before the alleged assault. Personally, for me, having seen the videos on McKamey Manor's own YouTube channel, having watched the reckless Ben series and then having read that article about what happened between him and his ex-girlfriend I think I've made up my mind on how I feel about this guy. It's very clear to me that he set up this attraction and I use that word very lightly but I feel like he set this up so that he could 
get something out of it on a personal level. And I truly don't understand how a 40 page waiver can let you do what he does to another human being. I mean, let alone the 40 page waiver, I don't understand how a human can do that to another human being. But I wanna know what you guys think about this. There's been some stuff that I haven't been able to show in this video today. So if you are even a little bit unsure about how you feel about this guy, maybe go and check that out before forming an opinion. Because honestly, after you see everything that you possibly can, I really don't think that anybody can be on his side. But maybe some of you do feel like you could be on his side. Like I said, everybody that signed up to do his tour did in fact sign a 40 page waiver. So effectively, they signed up for what was happening. And if that's how you feel about it, then I'd like to hear more about that in the comment section down below. And whilst you're there, if you could like and subscribe as well, that would do me wonders. But other than that, see ya.